Hi everybody. So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the weekly expectations and the assignments that are coming your way in week five. So believe it or not, week five, we're already ending unit two. Uh, unit one started last week, unit two ends this week. It's a very short unit. Um, we're going to be talking mostly about paraphrasing in this unit. Um, and you can see that the things that you have to do are the unit two B progress checkpoint and the unit two journal or presentation on research and integrating sources. So we're already doing that reflective journal because we're already ending unit two. For the unit two B progress checkpoint, I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you get that done first as your task that you have to do this week, both in 011 and 101. Because in 101, the thing you're going to be working on is paraphrasing from that article you found from the uh, resource number three uh, or the reading option number three that you found online yourself in the databases. That article that you found in the databases um, is going to be sort of the subject of your worksheets and your paraphrasing exercises in 101. I want to make sure that you're really clear on paraphrasing what it is, how it works, and you get some practice in. So I'm going to recommend that you maybe set yourself a deadline of Wednesday, even though it won't technically be due until Sunday. I would consider setting yourself a deadline of Wednesday for getting the Unit 2B progress checkpoint done um, because once you do that, you'll have some practice and a clearer idea of what paraphrasing is as you head into that 101 assignment. So I want to talk a little bit about the Unit 2B Progress Checkpoint. I already have it pulled up here. The Unit 2B Progress Checkpoint in it, I just have a list of steps I want you to take to familiarize yourself further with paraphrasing because it's one of the trickiest skills. So the first thing I want you to do is read the article, What is a Paraphrase? It looks like this. And it explains what paraphrasing is. It gives a definition, explains what it is and what it isn't. And it gives these really helpful hints right here of things you want to pay attention to as you work on the skill of paraphrase. There's lots of examples throughout. Um, lots of explanations of what's good paraphrasing, what's problematic paraphrasing. I want you to read through all these, watch the videos, and then you'll see that the next thing that I want you to do is right here, take the paraphrasing challenge at the bottom of the article, is this. It actually starts here, the paraphrasing challenge. And it's a little PowerPoint slide that asks you to determine whether or not certain examples are good paraphrases or not, if they're acceptable or not. Um, it's not graded. The results don't need to come to me. It's just something I would like you to do to work on your paraphrasing skills so that you're in a really good mindset to complete the actual graded component of this checkpoint, which is the discussion board. So part number three says, complete the assignment by posting on the Unit 2B Checkpoint Paraphrasing Discussion Board, which is a board I've just created. These are the directions that are posted here below. If you click, um, it'll take you to this board. If you go back to the discussions list, um, you can see that the description is right here as well. Um, if you want the, the description on its own page, or if you wanna look at it here, um, <laughs> back to the checkpoint. Here in the checkpoint, these are the exact same instructions right here. What I want you to do is practice your paraphrasing. So I pulled a quote from a book that I'm currently reading out. Um, and I have this little passage, it's a couple sentences long, and the sentence that's in bold is what I want you to paraphrase. It's difficult to paraphrase something without any context, so that's why I included more of the paragraph. But the only sentence you need to paraphrase is this one right here. And you can see why it might be hard to paraphrase because you're trying to get the gist and it has words like yet that connect it to the ideas back here. You're going to be putting this idea, however you need to do it, uh, you're going to be putting this idea into your own words, explaining it in your own words. So in your post, I would like you to paraphrase the bolded line, yet young listeners remain reluctant to embrace the idea of love as a transformative force. Um, and don't just change the words because that's not going to give a good meaning. Don't just look for the, those um, synonym swaps. Read the whole passage, look at that sentence again, and figure out what that sentence is saying. You may need to pull little pieces of information from up here to kind of ex explain what this is referring to. 
Once you've done that, that's all I want you to do. All your post has to be is your paraphrase of the bolded line following the rules and the tips of what is a paraphrase. So make sure that you follow all the hints for paraphrasing. Make sure that you're resetting, restating what the author says in your own words, that you're not summarizing or directly quoting the source. You're restating what an author says in your own words. You're conveying the meaning of their words by restating them using different words and sentence structures in the original. And you're following all of these tips that are included here about what you need to do in a paraphrase. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to find, there we go. Um, and then what I want you to do after you've posted just your paraphrase, that, that's all you need, just paraphrase, just the line, paraphrase in your own words with a citation. Then I want you to respond on a peer's paraphrase and see if there's anything that you can help them with. Because some of these tips that I took directly from that article are tricky. Paraphrasing can be tricky because when you paraphrase, you need to convey only what the original says without putting in your own opinion and your own thought or your own take on it. That's really hard for us to do a lot of times. Uh, you need to vary your word choice and sentence structure from the original. You need to restate accurately what the original was saying. Don't change its meaning. And you need to properly document your paraphrases. So putting something in your own words still requires giving credit to the author. So you still want to include a little citation at the end. You still want to include a mention of the author in your paraphrase. So basically what I want you to do, and this is the entirety of that assignment, is paraphrase this line after reading this passage and really thinking about it. Put this line in your own words and then respond to another person and tell them whether or not you think that they've hit all the points that they should with a good paraphrase based on these bullet points. As for the other thing that you have coming, the Unit 2 Journal or Presentation on Research and Integrating Sources, this is exactly the same as the other journal that you just finished the, writing the other day. Um, you can either write a journal, which most of you chose, or you can do a quick presentation. The only difference is that this time you're going to be focusing on what you've learned about research and about integrating sources. What was the most difficult or challenging part of the process? What resources and or tools will help you complete academic research? Reflect on your research and writing processes throughout the unit. So basically what you did already um, and for those of you who submitted your journal, you've done a great job with reflection. Um, if you look in the announcement, the only thing I say to watch out for is really start thinking about organization. Does everything need to be in one paragraph? Or are you really writing about things that can be in two separate paragraphs? Um, does it need more details? Does it need to be more organized? Um, so just keep working on those reflections on your reflecting skills. But um, what everybody did last time is pretty good. Just keep working on those. It's basically the exact same questions. This time you're applying it to unit two and the uh, process of research and integrating sources. And that's all you have in O11 this week.